Hey all, here at OS and VTXWeeks.com, you're watching our unboxing slash video first look at the Personal Seal set with wax. This is a mini product produced by Stuart Houston, and this is actually something pretty small and nifty. Um, it produces a, an authentic seal for you to use wax, melt, and then stamp onto an envelope and uh, seal off your contents in a very old-fashioned but pretty nifty kind of way. Um, this product can be purchased at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com for about $15 to $20, depending on where you look, which is a little bit expensive if you ask me, but it is a cool little desk toy, perhaps as a gift, either for birthdays or for Christmas or the such. Again, it's pretty small, very nice packaging, very authentic to um, the age and time period it's trying to emulate, a distinctive way to seal and decorate uh, all your correspondence. Something that I should note, though, is this is with wax, but... Um, I hear that some of the units I've been receiving that have been received do not actually have the wax inside. So we'll have to find out. Um, and also a you know a downside to this is of course if your wax runs out, you have to get your own. And for that purposes, uh, we're just gonna use some uh, birthday candle wax to see how well that works, you know, in case you, you run out of your own wax or the wax that comes in here. So uh, again, looks like this, I guess, when it's done, which is pretty nifty. Not sure if this is real or fake, but again, on the back, it just tells you uh, how to melt your wax onto the actual stamp. Um, it melts it onto an envelope and then allow it to pull into a melted wax into a surface. And then finally, after a few seconds, press in the stamp for you to actually create a thin film of oil over the wax, and then you can take it off. It's made in Great Britain as well, which is pretty interesting, rather than China, so it is going to be a little more expensive just for that reason. So if we push this out, I guess this is how we open it up, and there we go. This is actually what's inside. Pretty interesting. Um, taking a look at the actual design and the contents, I believe we just pulled this out, or perhaps not. Let me just pull this out. There we go. Set this off to the side. Inside here, we indeed uh, just have a instruction card, and essentially that's it. Put that off to the side. It just says the traditional art of sealing, made in Great Britain. It tells you basically the instructions that were repeated on the back of the unit, um, and some warranty information and the such, and that's it. And again, the unit itself, if we take off this little bendy tool, and here we have just the actual set. Um, it's just put in place like this. I believe we can just unhinge this for the oh my goodness, for the actual unit to come off or fly off in our in our case. Um, so there we go, we can set that off to the side. The actual unit itself is actually pretty well made, I have to say. It's made out of this interesting brownish material. It's uh, probably the paint is a little bit coarse. It feels really top heavy, so it's a really sturdy little tool. It's made, I guess, out of metal on the bottom and then, again, out of this really sturdy material on the top. So it's definitely quality constructed. Again, it feels quite heavy, so it's going to have a firmness to it when you press down, which is definitely good. The middle part, part actually looks like it's made out of brass, and you can see the design on the inside. It just says an L for some reason. That's the thing that I'm not exactly sure about. It says it's F on here, but it's, then it's an L on here. It's a little bit, oh, it probably is an F, never mind. So it just has an F on here, which is a little bit odd if you ask me. I would rather have something that I can customize. I'm not sure if the company actually does that. It would make a lot more sense if you can customize a stamp with your own name or initials. That would be more cool. But for all purposes here, the version that we were te uh, given for review is just an F, which is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what that stands for, but again, you can see some embroidery on the sides, including some flowers and the design um, and the grooves, which is pretty cool if it's actually going to show up like that. And this is probably the finished product. Um, not as distinctive as just one letter, though, to make that distinction clear. So, interesting. Again, so it's pretty well made, and we are impressed with how the device definitely looks. If we do it and put it to a test now, I'm going to take some candles, and since the original color is, you know, supposed to be red, we're just going to use the the actual pink version for simulation purposes. I can't seem to get this open, which is kind of annoying. And there we go. So we've opened it up. I'm going to take I'm going to take two of the candles out, so it's going to melt a little bit faster, twice the speed. Help, uh, hopefully. So we're going to do it on two different tests. Uh, we're going to put it on one traditional envelope and then seal off the contains um, the letter inside. And then another one is just going to be a regular piece of paper. We're going to fold up to the shape of a actual you know, kind of envelope design. And we're going to seal off the top to see how well it works first. So with no further ado, let's try and light the candles. I'm going to take the actual lighter here. And then we'll light. Um, I'll actually just try one candle for now. So let's try and see if this will light. Hopefully it will. Oh goodness, it is tripping. There we go. It's a little bit difficult to control 
how the wax melts. I have to say that's a little bit disappointing, but hopefully we can get it to melt. I wish a bit faster. So there we go. It looks like it's melted a pool. So we're going to just now blow the candle out or try to, and then now try press it in with our stamp. Again, we were a little bit late on the press down, so this is probably not going to work as well. But you do get the sense of how it looks like. If we had more wax, it actually looks to be pretty good. And then there's nothing on the remains of the other actual product itself, so it doesn't stick to the insides or anything like that. So it actually works pretty well. Let's do it for one more time, but I'm going to try to control the wax melting and not dripping all over the place one more time. That does seem to be one of the downsides to this, is actually it's difficult to control where the wax will actually end up, which is which is difficult, obviously, because it's split out. Um, you obviously don't want wax dripping all over your envelope when you're trying to give it to someone, so that kind of ruins the feel to it. And this one actually didn't work out as well. We probably have to wait a few seconds longer for the effect to go in. But um, you get the idea. It does seem to be pretty, you know, pretty good. Let's try it one more time now on the actual envelope. So we're gonna have to take a little bit of caution. It looks like there's already some splotches, but hopefully that will go out all right. And let's light the candle. And uh, now it's not lighting. There we go. Let's wait one second. And let's try and let this melt correctly. That seems to be all right, I have to say. Not too bad. Let's let it go out. And now let's wait one, two, three, four, five, six, and now it's stamped down. Again, we do have quite a mess here. So that's already one of the critiques I have for the product is that it doesn't seem to be as easy to control the direction of the wax melt as I would have hoped. But again, the finished result is actually quite nice. It's the best it's actually turned out for me so far. You can see the embroidery over here. It looks very fine. The details are all there. So it's pretty impressive if you can control the wax melt, which I clearly need more practice with. Um, and the actual stamped result is actually still pretty pristine, so we do like that. So, as a stamp, it actually works really, really well, but the actual wax melting process is actually quite difficult. And, you know, since we just basically lick off our envelopes these days, or just tape it on with a piece of tape, it's difficult to kind of control that in, by today's standards. With more practice, hopefully I can master that, but we'll have to see. So, so far we do like it, and would give it to, uh, two thumbs up. So please check them out if you are interested. This has been our uh, first look slash video unboxing of the Personal Steel Set by Stuart Houston. Here at OSMVTXReviews.com.